hello guys please i want you all to watch this video from bob Briske. please women gather here young women from 18 years come and listen to bob Briske. what he say about life protection or life pro i don't know operation as if you want to get your boobs done your breasts done what she went through so please guys share this video i want this video to go viral so before you think of doing it so that you will think you will watch this video and know and take a decision either to do it or not to do it that is why i'm doing this video please share this video let nigeria young girls to say it because we just lost one 20 years old lady that went to do uh, life protection i don't know what they call you call it you understand if you know correct me life procedure i don't know guys <laughs> so i mean operation to do your boots your your hips you know so that is what i'm trying to say so don't do it it's not good it's 50 50 according to bob Risky because she has done it she's advising somebody not to do it so please watch this video make sure you share it as you do god will bless you thank you bye my doctor gave me to come for the second um liposuction but i've done my second procedure but because of the pain i kept shifting the dates they gave me 18th of december last year I told them let's do it in January. January come. I called them. I said, I'm not ready. Let's push it to February. February, they called me. I said, let's push it to March ending. Now we are almost in the middle of March now. I am scared. I won't even lie. That pain. Like boys, like boys. Life is painful. That pain is like you are at the end of giving up. Ha! <laughs> Short advice for the girls that haven't done their body yet, that they are considering doing their body. Don't allow anybody to lie to you that it's not painful. If I never do one, eh? I no go talk. My experience was the worst experience ever. My own case here, eh? I had malaria and typhoid in the process. You can imagine? I had malaria and typhoid in the process while I was healing. I was in pain. Oh gosh. That's why I've been scared though, to go for my second, my second um, lipo. I've been scared. Because your life is going to be miserable for the period of one month. No worry. No, be you get your body. If God, one case here, when I decided, I said, I am ready for this. Well, my friend told me it was not painful. Do you understand? So let me just give you a brief of what I face. So that very day, they gave me the dates. I went there. They told me to, while I'm coming, they told me not to, you know, do my nails. Because they need to check my vitals every day. That's one thing they used to wear on your fingers. So, they told me not to come with lashes. Of course, you have to go with your natural air. Just don't go with anything artificial. Don't paint your nails. Don't paint your toes. Just come natural. So that morning, I went natural without nothing. So they gave me the toe soap to go and bath. And after bathing, I should know. The doctor said, after having my birth, I should make sure I did not touch anything. Just come out like that. Wear your, the way you gown. That's a chatter gown. Mine was color green with a cap. So I came out. 
card. They gave me a letter, to, a paper to sign. Hmm. 50-50. Whether you're alive is your business. Whether you don't go from there, it's your business. <sighs> I took a deep breath. I signed the paper. Then I went straight into the theater. When I got to the theater, I saw different, different objects. What a key cow. Now, what key cow? As soon as I stepped my two feet inside the theater, I told them I am no longer doing it. I said it straight. The woman said, No, now sit down first. They actually charged me. So much money so maybe they don't want to refund me the money i don't know i mean i don't even care about the money because i saw so many objects and different things keep coming into my head like they want to kill me what is going on i saw oxygen i saw this i saw i was so scared the woman just tried to pet me. Oh, but please keep me of legal. Sit down. Sit down. So why she was distracting me to sit down? One man was trying to inject me. You know? I'm like, I said I'm no longer interested. I told the woman, Madam, it's not by force. Don't, re don't give me refund. Just go with the money. I know they do it again. I called my best friend because she was the one that followed me to the chatter. I said, Bing Bing. And then Miss Bing Bing, I am not doing again. She said, Barbara, calm down. Just sit down. So when I was, when they were talking to me, they injected me straight up my left hand. I got weak. I couldn't talk very well again. I was weak. Then they went behind me. They injected my, they had to inject my spinal cord. Yes. Because I pull, I was naked, so I pull off my gown. Then the doctor went straight behind me and injects straight inside my spinal cord. Like I felt something was in there. Boom! I could not move my leg. The story is very sweet. Duma said, Bobriski, if you know you are mommy of Lagos, move your leg carry that leg. I couldn't carry the leg. You know, you know, Pala fish. Pala fish. <laughs> or let me say, frozen fish. My legs were frozen. I can't even move it. I was able to move only my hand. The next minutes, they covered me. I can't see what they're doing. But I was hearing because I told them not to, that in my own, I don't want to sleep because I was scared. So I begged them, I said, please don't let me sleep. Let me just be, let, let's my two eyes, let me open, let me see what is going on. So I did not sleep. I was, my eyes were fully open. But I saw them doing so many things. They were, of course, I was hearing so many noise and they were playing song too, you know. They wanted to keep the place, the theater happening. They were playing Nigerian music and all. But I was hearing, I was hearing like fat sound. Maybe they're trying to extract fat from one place, you know. The next minute, like this, I felt like I was high. You know when you're, you're fucking high. So I just slept off. When I came out, I was telling my friend, ah, what's here doing your, can you can do your now? I was telling my friend, is that more painful? I'm not even feeling because me I walked with my two legs after my own uh, procedures in the theater. They did not carry me on. I walk with my two legs to my room. So I'm like, is that even painful? And I said it's painful. Is that even what was there? Abiolodo. It was that injection that they still gave me that is still working. So I wasn't feeling any pain yet. They took me out of the theater around. I went in around 9 in the morning. I came out around 1 to 2. When it is 
8 p.m. Then I faced the reality. Hey! Hey! Then I faced the reality of life. I don't say hell day. Hell day. Jesus. This pain came from nowhere. God. I was just screaming. Help me, don't let me die here. Don't let me die. It's a, it's a sad story. <laughs> hey, guys. Do you know when pain holds you? And you are using your teeth to bite your pillow. Hey! I was biting those pillows. I was, I was, oh, I was holding their bed sheets. I was biting the pillow in my tits. I was in pain. I said, Doctor, if you don't do anything now, huh? nobody will sleep in this hospital. So they came to give me injection. The pain left me for a while. I think from that 9.30 p.m., the pain left me to like 2 a.m. After 2 a.m. midnight, the thing come back. Say, you! Now me, are you there? <laughs> now me, are you go face this thing? At that 2, <laughs> that 2 a.m., that 2 a.m. that the pain came back. The foolish doctor don't go. Don't leave me. Don't go out. Hey, God. Now the nurse came. The nurse arrived from nowhere. She said, Ma, are you in pain? Please manage. I said, it, sh it should not be well with you. Madam, leave my front. It should not be well with you. <laughs> Jesus. How could I so if anybody come and preach to you, that life possession is not painful. No, I wouldn't go kill that person. What? What? Don't worry. It's, 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 don't worry. You have just two, two options. Whether to live or to die. That's just it. That's just it. Just two options. Whether to live or to die. It's fucking painful. I think this is the most interesting part of the story. So, told it to my liposuction. A lady walks in and said, It's time for us to find because, of course, it's my hips and my bum bum you want to massage. When this woman, let's say the girl, na, na yibo, na yibo girl. She, she don't chop too much of apple. When this woman handled my waist, no, don't worry. Now, let me use my hand, throw away the, throw away the towel. Don't worry, see it. Don't worry, you're free to see it. See, I was in pain. I was in pain. Like, it's not just the pain is it's just it's just between life and death. Trust me, the pain is just it's too much. I love Thank you guys.